Mm -hmm. There are some people who have bees in and around their property and it's a problem to them. Somebody next to me dive for the big gun and they say they let them have it and they feel good. Mm -hmm. right? You have options. Mm -hmm. Give us a call. We can remove it because uh, it's our business. Remember, the honey in Grenada is one of the best. There isn't something I can do to make it best. What I have done is done the packaging, the preparation and so on of a product that is already great. Right? Okay. Um, we have a responsibility to preserve. Now, uh, Ms. Cameron mentioned uh, pollen. And indeed, there are people in Grenada who are producing pollen, although in limited quantities, right? Loxley also has some experience with that. And you make the request so that the men who are in the beekeeping business can be urged. Now, I want to invite our viewers to look out for an uh, edu documentary program that we're coming with. Um, it's a story. The, the, the story is going to be told from the perspective of a visitor. We had a, I permit me to say, Bajan here, right? Um, covering the, the piece. Um, so he is retelling what he saw, what he experienced, and that's great. We want everyone to have their say, right? What you would find in that uh, expose is that I've included men from across the country, right? And you're going to see that one of the, the men featured actually demonstrate the use of a pollen trap that's used for harvesting the pollen when it's available, right? So um, people understand those initiatives. Uh, when our consumers request it, it provides the impetus that people need, the producers need to actually go after it um, in greater detail so that we could bring more benefit to our people. Great. Well, I think we have, that's a lot of good information, but I will give each and every one of you uh, about a minute, roughly, to just say anything that you think you might have missed. I'll start with you, Miss Cameron, and then I'll go to Dr. Martin, and then we'll end with Mr. Glasgow. So I'm not sure that I emphasized enough how, how good the bee pollen is, is a stuff to look. but I just want to stress that it's considered one of nature's most completely nourishing foods because it contains almost all of the nutrients needed by the human body. One of the um, major nutrients in there is actually the vitamin B12. I don't think I had mentioned that earlier. And that's really important for our body's nerve and blood cells and for making of DNA, which is our genetic um, you know, thing that we need there. And also just to say that I think this is an amazing idea. I trust that the listeners would have gathered the real important points that we were trying to make. It's not that we're saying that there aren't other options. But we're saying that here are the benefits of this particular product. So, and what, and what I would say is that the combinations, granted honey in itself is a superfood, but the combinations makes those even more comprehensive. In almost every, every uh, physiological process in our human body that utilizes any things like minerals and, and enzymes and so on, with the combinations of what I'm seeing here from Mr. Glasgow, that represents to me the most comprehensive form of food that people can use um, given the different combinations. Mm -hmm. I just want to say more people have to get into the beekeeping so we to produce more. Uh, okay. We can't produce enough honey on the island. So more beekeepers come in better for everybody. My closing comments are um, aligned with Luxley's statements here. Look at that. To get this initiative forward and to really serve the wider market, it's not a one-man effort. Right? We need more persons to come on board. Right? Um, what I've recognized is that the poultry industry is still fragmented in Grenada, even though we've been keeping chickens for a long time because of lack of centralized processing everybody want to be their own master they want their own complete facility well it wouldn't happen because each individual producer is just too small to support right, right. we have to think the same way um, when it comes to how we make the best use of this uh, great treasure that we have right and probably we need to have uh, I want to extend actually an invitation to the small keepers who don't have the time on the, or the resources to, to pursue bottling to a high standard as for themselves. Uh, once you're chemical free, once you're organic, give us a call, talk to us. We'll look at the prospects of 
building a synergistic, mutually beneficial relationship with you. Right? Um, the, this product right now can be found at major supermarkets across the country, um, the food land, the food fair, the real value, the Springs Food Mart, uh, various uh, pharmacies, uh, the Gittins Pharmacy, the um, uh, RJ Pharmacy. I want to specially mention the True Blue Pharmacy in um, uh, uh, True Blue um, because there's a young man there that really gave me my first brick. Right? Um, and I want to say thank you to, to Mr. Williams. There's another young manager and we need to give people flowers while they're alive. Um, my first brick was at Foodland Lagoon Road. I'm speaking of a gentleman by the name of Mr. Hillier. Right, I want to thank you so much. And there are a lot of other people who contributed to us uh, getting this much off the ground. We, we, we ain't gone anyway. Right? <laughs> but it's important for us to say thank you. Um, I must mention, um, before I, 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 I give away, Liat. We have a problem with Liat. Some people don't like Liat. Me, I'm a Liat diehard. I'm sticking with Liat till I'm dead. Right? Because there's a visionary in Liat's office up in Antigua. He has provided the mechanism for me to move my products around the region. Before, the cost of moving a spoil package would have been prohibitive. Right? Now I have a special deal with Liat and I could get the product. So that's why my honey is in Barbados. And that's why I could with confidence tackle the other islands. I in the developments on the Trinidad market with some curiosity. I, I heard I hear tell that the market was open, so I actually pick up the phone and call the ministry in Trinidad. Is this thing true? Right? They say not just yet. So we're watching them. In the meantime, honey will continue to sell in the rum bottles. The producers here have nothing to fear. What I have done is fill the gap. You have given people traditionally a two pounds of honey in the rum bottle. I've seen an opportunity to give them what was missing. So in addition to this spread, those who are um, ambitious, <laughs> you could get three pounds of honey. Uh, you wouldn't find this in the supermarket. No. You could get five pounds of honey. You wouldn't find this in the supermarket. Just place an order. Right? Um, this year, these sizes are intended to cater for the back of house, um, the, the restaurants, right? the people who want honey in large volume. There may be somebody who um, has gone totally sugar free right? and want honey to use and give us a call. We could make arrangements and to, to in, encourage uh, people to continue buying the product. We are coming with uh, very soon a uh, bottle return initiative. Mm -hmm. Right, where we give you a tangible reward for bringing back the bottles. Eh? Now, one of the challenges I have for our people is this. Um, the Chinese men figure out how to make almost everything and make it cheap. The Indians figure out how to make almost everything. What happened to Grenadians? We need somebody to figure out here in Grenada how to blow up these plastic bottles. <laughs> no, it's a real challenge. Friends, listen. Um, I needed a honey extractor couldn't buy one from the states. I invented my own honey extractor. Right? I want to thank the man in Birch Grove, the scrap metal man, because I went by him and I purchased some stainless steel. It looked like junk, but there's a finished product in my house now and I need to thank Mr. Frank. That's uh, the gentleman that does the any kind of welding in Grenada in uh, Springs. I fabricated through, with the help of Mr. Frank, my own honey extractor. Right, um, out of stainless steel and the message is we can do what needs to be done we just need to put our minds to it but people who wish to get in touch with us can find us um, on 440 6340 the best bet is to use the cell phone right 405 6340 416 1718. Don't be afraid to use email. Email will work all the time. Uh, you can use Garvin G, G A R V I N G, at yahoo.com. And um, look for our ad. We've thrown it up on um, uh, YouTube. And give us a call. Let's talk about how we could build a relationship and move this initiative forward. There are several key players to benefit from this engagement, not just uh, one person. Keep that in mind when you make your next purchase decision that you're sending somebody's child to school in September because you gave them a sure and reliable means of income. Right? Great. Loxley have some young children. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
thank you so very much this has been informative and very interesting that we have to end we have been speaking with mr garvin glasgow he's furthest from me of g links limited next to him mr loxley joseph a beekeeper next to mr joseph of course dr francis martin the president of the grenada medical association and next to dr martin and as well close to me miss marcia cameron she is the executive secretary of the grenada food and nutrition council and of course you've heard all about the nutritional and medicinal properties of honey. I'm Leslie and Johnson Cornwall. Thank you so much for viewing. In nature, survival depends on following the leader. In business, market leaders survive. Introducing G Links Grenada Honey, the leader in a new experience of sweet satisfaction. Pure honey, pure Grenada spice flavor honey, pure Grenada fruits in honey. Pure Grenada nuts and honey, pure organic honey, pure natural honey, chemical free honey, pure goodness, pure satisfaction, pure Grenada to the last drop.